we're going to do, um, we have these cells that have over 255 characters. So we'll just go here and just show it. Equals len, and then here, hit that, 259, put it down there. What we want to do is we want to find the duplicates of these. Now, one way to do it is using countif. So it equals count if uh, I like using this insert function of range. We want to count this out of this criteria. Okay. Now when you hit this, we're going to get an error. See? Because these are over 255 characters. Now just for example, even if I removed four characters, one, two, three, four. Now, it works. Okay. So, a lot of things don't work with 255 characters. It's kind of like a minimum, a uh, maximum. But we can use some product. Let's try that again. Equals some product. And we're going to say here to here equals here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say A2 to A2. I want to absolute this one. Okay. Close the bracket and we'll add zero to it. Now it's one. So if I drag it down, see, one, 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 because there's the first instance here. Right, this is not the same as this because we got those fours in there. So every time something is over two, is the, it is over one, is the duplicate. For example, I'm just going to copy this here. So if we use the conditional formatting, because we what we want to do is we want to highlight the duplicates. So the ones that are one, we don't want highlighted. The ones that are more than one, we want highlighted. So we can go here, go to conditional formatting, new rule, we want to use a formula, okay, so we say equals b2 is greater than 1, we format, okay, let me say okay, now you see any, anything that's greater than 1 will be highlighted, so for example, if this was not a duplicate, just throw a six in there, it won't be highlighted because it's the it's the unique one. I'm just gonna boom. No, it is highlighted. Okay. So that's using a helper column. But what if we would want to just uh, don't want to use a helper column? So also for example I want to look in here. And you see, I was A2 to A2 because it's counting this one and this one as one. But when we go here, it's counting A2 to A3. Okay, and this one is counting A2 to A4. So let's go here. Let's copy Control C. Let's copy that formula. Press Escape to get out of the formula bar. Now let's go back to manage rules. Um, this is work. Well, now instead of that, let us do this. I'm going to control V. All right. And just for uh, example, let's just change the color this time, just so we know. All right. 
cancel that. Now apply. Excellent. Now you see it's not working because I forgot to say greater than one. Greater than one. All right. Now we apply. See. So anything that's greater than one is gone. So we don't need this helper column anymore. Now it goes on forever because it's a big string. And that's how you do it. I will put the conditional formatting here on the window so you can zoom in on the formula. What I should also do is actually put the formula on the sheet so you can see it better. even highlight it so you guys can see it better. Okay, that is